Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you four very easy, very simple Halloween treats that you can make for your movie night for Halloween. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to make is, oh, what do you think of my hat? Do you love my hat? I love wearing a pointy witchy hat on Halloween. So the first easy recipe I'm going to make today are little hot dog mummies. I feel like these are a Halloween-y classic. It's one I've never made before, and I think this treat would go perfectly with the movie The Mummy. Not quite sure a lot of kids would be able to watch that. It might be a little bit too scary, but these little mummy hot dogs are super cute. Regardless, you could add them to any halloween -y spread. We only need, technically, two ingredients. Instant crescent rolls and some hot dogs. To make them extra cute, I'm going to add some candy eyes because I happen to have them. If you don't have candy eyes, it's fine. You can use a little bit of mustard, you could use a little ketchup, you could use anything to really kind of dot the eyes. Sesame seeds, black sesame seeds would work, or even little dots of black icing, just to give the mummies a face. So, first thing we need to do is get, um, a surface area to work on. How about a cutting board? I've got a baking pan lined with parchment paper and I'm gonna take my hot dogs and pull them out of the package. Next, I'm going to open my package of crescent roll dough. All right, there we go. It pops and then take your dough out. I love that. Okay, trash can. So, okay, unroll the dough. And we're gonna cut this into strips. And these are gonna be the bandages around our little mummy hot dogs. If you have a pizza cutter, this would be a great time to use it. I don't have one handy, so I'm gonna just use my knife. Cut this into strips. I would say quarter inch strips. Okay, good. This dough slices pretty nicely. I thought it would, it would pull, but it's not. So just drag a sharp knife through the dough. I'm gonna err on the side of making these a little thinner because I think the bandages look cuter when the strips are thin. So it's okay if the pieces break because these are gonna be mummies after all. And mummies have, you know, ragged bandages, you know? Oh, that sounds as my oven is fully preheated. I've got it at 375s, sives. There's only one 375, not 375s, right? Just one. 375, preheated. Okay, now we are gonna take our hot dog. This is going to be the body of the mummy. And very simply, we're going to take our dough and wrap it around our hot dog. And if it breaks, it's okay. Ta -da, like that. For the face, I'm gonna make sure I leave a little bit of a gap because that's where I'm gonna put the eyeballs. And then after that, it's super simple. You just wind this around. I'm gonna give these a little bit of a stretch and pinch to seal them. Look, it's already looking so cute. And leave some gaps if you like in between the hot dog. So keep going all the way around till we get the entire hot dog covered. Cute. I'm gonna place them on a baking tray. I'm gonna do four of these and we're gonna place them in a preheated 375 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until the pastry looks nice and puffed and golden. Alrighty, my lovelies, the mummies are out of the oven. They are still very warm and they came out very cute. Look at them! But they don't look quite alive yet. And that's where these will come in. Now, again, if you don't have candy eyes, you can just do little drops of ketchup or mustard just to give them a little bit of mummy aliveness. Now, this set of candy eyes. It's all different sizes. We've got little small ones, medium, and great big ones. Okay, we're just gonna take our eyeballs and slip them in between <laughs> the pieces of pastry here. Yeah, that makes them look even more kind of alarmed and goofy. <laughs> so cute. This one looks really derpy because they're spaced out so far apart. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look 
how the eyeballs bring these little friends to life. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Look how stinking cute this is. He wobbles. Golden brown on the bottom. Save me, save me. My bandages are too tight. Harder, my lovelies. Here we go. Hit the ducky mouse. I'm expecting the candy eyes to be super, super hard because they feel super hard, but kind of the consistency of a sweet tart, just very light, small, subtle, not even noticeable crunch. And because the hot dog is so salty, I didn't even notice the eyeballs. So definitely eat the candy eyeballs if you have them. And these are delicious. Hot dog is quite salty. We don't have a whole lot of bun action here. We just have a little bit of crescent roll bandages, but really great, tender, juicy, cooked inside, nice and warm, buttery, flaky, crescent dough on the outside. Alrighty, so there you have it. Super simple, super easy, little hot dog mummies. Alrighty, my lovelies, for my next super easy, simple Halloween-y movie night treat, we're gonna celebrate Charlie Brown, and it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And we are gonna do that with little Jello cups. This one is so, so easy. We just need some Jello cups and these great little candy pumpkins. These taste, mm-hmm, exactly like candy corn. And a sweet kind of fake honeyed flavor to them. They're kind of great in their own right, but they're very, very sweet. I love the texture though. So these are going to be our little great pumpkins. And then we just need some dirt. And to make this, you just take some Oreos, place them into a plastic bag and give them a crush. And we've got dirt, edible dirt. So get a little dish, pull the label off, then take some of your crushed up Oreos Add them to the top. And it's okay if it gets a little bit messy because this is supposed to look like soil. And then take a pumpkin and just place it right on top. Ta-da! It's super cute! Look! <laughs> cute, very, very simple, simple dessert. Alrighty, let's give our little pudding cup a taste. Look at this spoon, isn't the cutest? It's so tiny. Alrighty, here we go. It's Hidaki Mouse. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't had chocolate pudding in so long. Creamy, smooth, rich, tastes like chocolate milk. And then you've got those Oreo bits on top, which gives you a little bit of sandy crunch, more chocolate flavor. Oh my gosh, chocolate pudding tastes like childhood. And I have to say, eating it with a tiny spoon like this, is delightful. For my next super easy treat, we're going to make Thing popcorn hands inspired by Thing from the Adams Family. So what you're going to need is some popcorn. This is the pre-pop stuff, but if you wanna pop it yourself, by all means, do so. You're gonna need some candy corn. These are going to be the nails. And then you're going to need these disposable gloves, these really big ones. And we need them to be big because the fingers have to be big enough so that the popcorn can fit inside it. So we've got those. I actually found these, I found a bag of these at the dollar store. And then for fun, you don't need these, but if you have them, little toy rings, spiders, bats, skulls, and that just adds a little bit of halloween -y flair. And then you're gonna need something to tie the hand off. You can use a bit of string, curly string, or I happen to have a million of these rubber bands. So I'm gonna use these to tie off my hands. The first thing we're going to do is place one candy corn into each digit. Now, we're gonna just fill it with popcorn. Shake the bag. This is really great for little kids because their fingers, their little finger dexterity, really great little fun craft for them to do. So just shake it down, get all the popcorn into the fingers, get it all the way to the wrist. Make sure to leave a little bit at the top so that you can tie it off. Pinch it, give it a twist. Look, it's not fun, I love it. And then take your rubber band and tie it off. Ta-da! Thing! So, if you wanna add a little bit more character, you can add a little ring to it. What you can do is the rings are all split on the back, so you can just spread that apart to get it around the finger of the popcorn finger hand. And we can put the ring right on like that. Da -da -da -da. Yay, popcorn hands. So for my next treat, we're going to be making witch 
finger cookies. Now this would be perfect with the Book of the Witches by Roald Dahl or the movie version or Hocus Pocus the movie, Hocus Pocus 2, any kind of witchy themed movie. This is super easy. All we need is a roll of pre-made cookie dough. We are going to add some flour to it so that our fingers stay nice and craggy. So we're just going to take our dough and I've let this dough sit out at room temperature for a little bit. So we're going to add some flour to this dough, about a cup, and this will stiffen the dough. So that was about a half a cup. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I think it might take all of it. So I've got a baking sheet lined with parchment. And for the nails of our witchy fingers, I found some of these candied almonds. You can use whatever you like, but I'm going to use these. I thought they looked properly kind of craggly. Now what we're going to do is take some of our dough and shape it into a witchy finger. Take the dough and we'll make a little log-like thing. And we want it to be proportionate to our fingernail. You know, we want it to be the right size. And if you look at our fingers, we have a knuckle here and a knuckle here and then a knuckle here. So I'm gonna make a bump with the first knuckle and then I'll make a second bump, right? This does not need to be anatomically correct. It's just a witchy finger after all. And then we just press a nail into it. Look at that. Now, if we want to make it look a little wrinkly, we can take a knife and we can make little wrinkles if we like. Little lines like that. But look at that. Isn't that great? <laughs> We're gonna bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes. We don't want them to get browned. We want them to stay nice and pale so that the inside remains nice and moist. All right, my lovelies, I am back with my witch's fingers. And even though I added three quarters of a cup of flour, my cookies still spread quite a bit. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna add the remaining quarter cup of flour to my dough when I make the next batch of cookies so that they don't spread and fatten out like this. They look so great when they went into the oven, look so craggy and finger-like, and now they look more like, I don't know, pupa or something. But I still think they're going to taste great. So let's give them a go. They're still warm. So there's my cookie. <laughs> still out of the oven, so it's still quite soft and warm. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. mm. The almond in the front was actually quite nice. I like that crunch. Tastes like the sugar cookie, tender inside, moist, sweet, a little bit vanilla, but I don't taste any butter. So a lot of these pre-made cookie doughs for me are missing kind of that buttery component, but I didn't have to make the dough at all. So it saves tons and tons of time. And it's a great, easy, quick and fast way to make a Halloween themed snack. And so perfect for movie night. <laughs> Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. Four super simple, easy Halloween-y treats that you can have for your halloween -y movie night or Halloween party. Be sure to check out my Halloween playlist with other Halloween inspirations. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and have a happy and safe Halloween. Mwah!